I'm Raghu Santanam. I have with me my colleague Michael Gaul. Both of us are professors of information systems in the W.P. Carey School of Business uh, at Arizona State University. We are here to share with you an overview of uh, a research report we recently completed for CAPS. Uh, the report is on procurement analytics and how uh, big data is enabling us to modernize data architectures. These four trends uh, really motivated us to understand how organizations are going about redesigning their data architectures to address the big data uh, that's available for procurement. In addition to the many of the technology uh, drivers, many of the same problems in procurement remain and the same, same business drivers remain. Uh, what's new is that we can capture more data to be able to address those problems, and it can be captured from many different sources. So when you have all of that data coming in, you need to figure out a way to filter it and organize it, make it consistent, and do basically what we uh, call model management to ensure that the data that you used can be trusted in decision making. Good data architecture creates a, a very solid and basic understanding that all people involved can look at, follow, and see as a roadmap uh, for how data is managed, how it's put together and articulated, and then uh, how it's put to use in organizations. Architecture is not just about the technology. It's very much also about the process and the people involved in using that technology and leveraging it for value. So we identify four different types of uh, maturity archetypes in our report, and we also explain within that context how each of those archetypes are acquiring data from multiple data sources, whether it's ERP or enterprise data warehouse or standalone business systems then how they're ingesting them into data engines for further analysis, and ultimately how all of the analytics itself is provisioned to end users within each of those archetypes. We go through and we explain every element of each of these particular archetypes that Raghu mentioned, and you'll notice that we also address the fact that parts or all of this could be done in cloud computing. We really did not try to come up with a one-size-fits-all panacea. Here, here's the prescription for how you ought to go about uh, procurement analytics and data architecture to enable it. Uh, we tried to look at, at uh, the journey that, that you in procurement might be on, uh, as well as the journey your organization is on, and talk about specific roadmaps that might help all of the readers of our report. 